Tusker makes us equal, has no equal. Well, hello and welcome to tonight's edition of the Tasca Super Goals. I hope you're well prepared for the semi-finals as Nigeria, who survived a close shave against Senegal, take on South Africa. A team Nigerian fans believe are pretenders to the throne. But simple things should settle that. What else than goals? So far, the tournament has had 59 goals out of 30 matches. Well, it looks like we might not surpass the target of 92 goals that was achieved at Burkina Faso two years ago. But I'm not complaining. Out of what we have, some of the goals can only be described as out of this world. Tonight, the Tasca Super Goals rates the 10 best goals so far in the tournament. At number 10, we have our new revelation of the tournament. Super substitute Julius Agahua, three goals in two matches. His first against Morocco, insistent, confident under pressure. Quite an intelligent goal. Don't believe it. My goodness, unless something else happens here. At number nine is the Nigerian magician J.J. Okocha, Nigeria's first goal in their 4-2 to two thrashing of Tunisia's skillful, accurate finish. At number eight is Dumi Sangobet's opener for South Africa as they battle Gabon. A Quinton Fortune free kick is glanced into the net sensationally by 26-year-old Gobet. And the goal, the South Africa. Another South African, Sean Bartlett, has a goal to write home about. Nomvete Mkhalele through to Bartlett, whose control and lightning strike gives the Congolese goalkeeper no chance. That is our seventh best. And Sean Bartlett becomes the leading goal scorer at the... At number six, pushing Senegal's Kalilo Fadiga. Uh, Senegal gave Nigeria their biggest fright of the tournament. Good positioning, control and strike to send Lagos into silence. Another Senegalese, El Haji Pape Brahim Sar, has won for the record books. His long-range free kick taking number five. Fourth best, Patrick Mboma of Cameroon has something bombastic. His 30-meter shot crowning Cameroon's demolishing of Cote d'Ivoire. Then at number three, simply marvelous veteran Egyptian defender Hani Ramsey off a corner, bam, with the volley. They don't come better than that. And just about the best goal of all. Our second best goal comes via the Nigeria versus Morocco match. You've got to see this one to believe it. There is Tijani now. Bringing himself closely above Kevin Wanko on the outside. Momen in there with a very perfect chance for a shot. This one hits the next from Pirini Absolutely marvelous goal here. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but is there a place where they teach Nigerians that kind of shooting? Two years ago in the 1998 World Cup, Sandy Olise scores a similar goal against Spain, similar positioning. Then look at where Finidi George shoots from. Penetration, the same angle, only the celebration differs. I told you so, seems to say Sandy Olise. And for Finidi, I can't hear you. What did you say? Is it good or what? Okay, here's the quiz before we give you tonight's task a super goal. Question one, what is the Zambian team's nickname? And two, how many U's are in the name Tasca? Call in your answer to 862728. The first three callers with the correct answers winning Tasca branded items. Now for the best of the Tasca Super Goals, the pick of the tournament so far, Algeria Ziri Bileo in the match against Gabor. Two defenders left in his way. Great showmanship, the best so far tonight's Tasca Super Goal. Algeria, three, Gabon one, and that's a deserved goal for Bilal Diri. Well, great piece of skill, and that should do it for tonight's show. Thanks for watching. Please join us tomorrow as Tasca continues to review the best goals of the 2000 Cup of Nations.
Tusker makes us equal, has no equal.